Hey guys, another nice day up here in the wild north of Italy, I tell you. Welcome back to episode two of Flood Watch. Uh, we are currently on our way. We're just going to Lockport today. But I wanted to show you guys the floodway today and give you a little bit of information or history on it. So we're just about there where we're going to take a look and we'll talk to you in a second. Okay, this is just like a little, little lookout point here. Yeah, they have the road on Dunning closed off now. So you cannot cross there. Okay. Thunderstorm okay. almost out there, doesn't it? It does. <laughs> okay. Oh, look how much water is in there. That's why they closed it. Wow. I'm surprised there's that much water in there. So am I. Okay, this is it. The Red River Floodway. What is that you say? It's actually a giant ditch, nicknamed Dust Ditch, <laughs> after the uh, Manitoba Premier at the time. His name was uh, Duff Robin, or Roblin, Duff Roblin, sorry. Okay, it starts at the southeastern part of Winnipeg, bypassing the city along with three other rural municipalities. Uh, two of them are, I guess, St. Clement, St. Andrews, and Rashot, I think. Um, then the floodwaters discharge out of the floodway below the Lockport Dam. Construction, I believe, started in 62, ended in 68, and at the time was the second largest earth moving project in the world, second only to the Panama Canal. Hey okay, guys, it's crazy windy here up here. So we're gonna take a drive down to Lockport. It's only a, uh, maybe five kilometers or so. I'll show you where this thing discharges out into uh, the Red River again. We're gonna be going uh, that way. So this is the actual floodway here. Like I say, it starts 47 kilometers that away. Then it gets channeled all the way down here around the city, around those municipalities I mentioned before, and uh, discharges out here. And that is the red. That's the Red River there. So I'm pretty sure this is all runoff right now. They haven't, they haven't opened uh, or raised the gates yet. And let me just explain that a little bit. What they do is at the south end there, there's a, a control gate system. And what it does is they, it's underneath the water, underneath the water. And what they do is when they want to, to utilize the floodway, they'll raise this gigantic, it looks like a big giant wedge underneath the river. And it raises the, the water to stop the flow. It'll raise the water south of Winnipeg. And by doing that, it automatically diverts into the floodway and they can control the amount of water that flows down the Red River through the city. And they bypass all the flood water through the floodway here. And then again, north of Winnipeg, north, like, north of Lockport, south of Selkirk. That's why in our area, up at the wild north of Netley, we're susceptible to all this flood water that passes through here and joins back up with the red. Pretty cool, but I'll tell you what, when you see the water gushing through here later, I'll show you. You'll be amazed. All right, let's go check out the, the dam at Lockport and we'll see how the water is coming out of there. I heard it was higher, but we'll see. All right, guys, we're at the famous Lockport Dam. Now that's just for all you catfish anglers. Please report any catfish you catch marked with the orange tag. Get the number, blah, 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 and phone it in. Okay, we're down here at the Lockport Dam now, at the bottom of the dam, and they got the locks wide open. Crazy, have a look. And then the floodway where we were just before, before we came here, just around that corner, that's where it empties back in, into the red. Pretty wild. All right, what do you say we get something to eat there, honey? Okay, we're gonna hit, uh, I think we're gonna hit Skinner today. 
The old Skinners, yeah, the old Skinners. Let's do it. All right, the original Skinners. 1929. Let's check her out. Try this place today. Sorry, Sonyas. We give you enough business in the summertime. Let's go eat, honey. All right. Pepsi, I yeah, guess. Whatever you want. Bottle Pepsi? Yeah. Yeah. Alright, here we are at the Skinners. Lots of games for the kids. This is a hockey a hockey uh, ambiance to it. Actually I'll show you inside the restaurant here. An old jukebox. Show you in the Restaurant here. All the leaf stuff. They got all these hockey memorabilia and old pictures. Look at cherry. There's grapes. Yeah. Kind of cool. <laughs> oh, selfie. Selfie. Alright, let's see. Fax Domino. Twist. What do we got here? Elvis. Alright guys, we had to move tables because before we were sitting in the hab section over there. <laughs> so I had to move over to the Bruins section. Yeah, go Bruins. What do you mean? They're in Toronto. We go. Oh, wonderful. You guys enjoy. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, this is the fried onions. Okay. Okay, awesome. Thank you. You're Alright guys. This is the world famous Skinner's dog. Did I get chili on me? Yeah, there's a little bit on there. Oh, but... perfect. They were cheap with them. Awesome. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed the flood update. Thanks for watching Wild North and Antley.